Hi and welcome to Dramatic Aquatics, my name's Andy and a special thank you to Pond Guru who came down and gave us a visit and since then obviously our channel has been growing rapidly overnight so a very very big welcome to all the new subscribers and a massive thank you to Pond Guru. So what were you up to so far? Let's have a look and see. Today we've literally we've been messing around with this system over here just trying to get the water in and making sure We'll just leave a couple of inches in overnight just to ensure that there's no leaks. So we've got the water in here and we are just using a spray bar effect in the pipework. So on this pipe at the back there is little holes which then just sprays the water in instead of using a control valve. And we've pre been pretty much very very lucky so far that all the tanks are running pretty even. There's only a couple of mil difference in the odd one or two. So it's looking really well. So over the next few days we've got the pumps coming, which are Awase pumps, uh, which are 8,000 litre and 10,000 litre pumps, which will be going into all of our systems. So tomorrow we've got this one to crack on with, and then the day after we've got the discus one to plumb in and get running. Then we've got the miscellaneous wall, Garamis, Datnoides, Oscars, etc, etc. Um, also today we've actually had the base for the plant tank delivered I'm not sure if the camera is going to pick this up or not so you can kind of it's against other glass as well but you can see the octagon shape there and in the center we're actually going to have another octagon and those lines you can see is where the dividers or the steps are going to be to create that waterfall and on top of that octagon hopefully if we can manage to get it running somehow is we have got the biob again from Richard Ponguru, um, which will sit on the middle, and that will have a whirlpool in, which will be overspilling into the tank itself. Also arrived was the double base for the big tank, so that's with double base there, which I think is it is it's eight mil double base, but then we've got the big base, which is the twelve mil and it's 2.9 meters long that one so that's for for the big predatory fish that we've got coming in the blue board is to go up on the ceiling now then Dan the joiner has been in yesterday and he's already started putting the lats up on the inside because the board that we're using it's a kind of Corex board it's corrugated plastic which has got it it's got a thickness of four mil and you can see it bends very very easy and the idea is the artists Dan and Derek uh, are going to paint that and get it up on the ceiling so they are already here so I think what we'll do is we'll go and have a look and see how they've cracked on for the day the whole ceiling it's 25 works out to 25 feet wide and it's 50 feet long so all together I think there's 40 boards got to go up on the ceiling and they'll be doing that they're actually currently painting it so let's go and have a look and see what them guys are up to so it's been chucking it down all day today um, the tropical house is now closed and you can see the ground's all wet off the rain but believe it or not the sunshine is starting to come out again glorious settings down here in Lanchester well worth a visit if you get chance so let's go and see what the artist is up to well, we've actually got them hidden away upstairs in this new building I'm gonna pop up there right now and have a look if you like fish look at this big water container I can see this being full of koi carp next year needs a clean out well that is 10 foot deep and I don't know what the diameter is but I know it's going to hold a lot a lot of water so I'm going to pop upstairs now and I'm going to see what the guys are up to I can hear somebody's very very happy and here we go this is Derek and over there in the corner we've got Dan from Illumination Wall Art and look at this artwork absolutely incredible uh, we're getting there slowly 
well, fast to be honest with you, uh, we've only been on, this is our third day now, is it Bill? Yeah, I think so, mate, yeah. Yeah, so about th three days. Three days so far. The background is on most of the boards. Then they've got pictures on these ones over here, which they've drew. That is absolutely amazing. Gives you some idea of what it's going to look like when this is all complete. I mean, 50 foot long, 25 foot wide, there or thereabouts. It's going to look pretty damn impressive. Fantastic. Thank you, Doug. No problem. Yeah, I'm do it. Not much space here, but it, it, it's, it's literally it's working. We'll find somewhere where these guys can work and keep dry. And there we go. Absolutely amazing. These boards are eight foot long and they're four foot wide. And how many is it going to take to do the whole ceiling? Thirty-six, I believe. Yeah. Thir Thirty-six for the polytunnel ceiling. So it will look like you're walking inside of a big aquarium really absolutely yeah, yeah. fantastic and how long have you been doing this sort of work for Dan? Um, started as a business about five years ago um, generally doing kids bedrooms and I realised there was like a potential market for it so did quite a few kids bedrooms and now we get like well requests from everybody really and have you got plenty of work on at the moment? Yeah, well, we're going to be here for about a month, but like, you know, then weekends we'll be doing other jobs, like people shut us, uh, kids' bedrooms, right up to Christmas at the moment, so we're doing well. Uh, Derek came on, like, Not back in the last year, wasn't it? September, I think. September, yeah, helping me out with them um, at a place in Burra called Tau Gaming, and we just, you do a lot of canvas work, don't you, generally? Yeah. And when we can, we jump in here and we do what we can. Excellent. But yeah, absolutely class can't wait to see some of this actually up on the ceiling because one of the main problems that we've had with the polytunnel and we started at the end of August building the aquariums and getting the place ready um, and one of the major issues that we had was actually the heat yeah. in the polytunnel so this is actually going to give us some great cover um, in the summer but also in the winter as well hopefully it'll keep the, the warmth inside the polytunnel which is coming off the fish tanks but so far absolutely amazing the detail is incredible just looks like we're doing some wimble fish there at the moment and we've got one of Nemo's relatives just there we are having Nemo as well but he's not going in the polytunnel he's actually going to be on the other side um, we're not actually selling marine fish this is the funny thing um, but I think when the boss sees the colors on these fish and sees the coral hopefully he will want to expand the tropical fish into the next polytunnel into marine <laughs> so that's the idea um, is to get from one polytunnel get that one opened get it running and then we'll get the second one opened and we'll be doing marine but obviously with the temperature control in the polytunnel we need to give it a little while so we can work out for the temperature in there so if people want to see more of your work Dan where can they go? Uh, yeah if you look at Illumination Wall Art on Google or generally on the internet you'll find us on Facebook we have Instagram we have Twitter um, we have a website as well that's uh, doing upgrade to be honest with you. But yeah, best place to contact us is Facebook and Instagram. Uh, we're all over the place yeah, really, aren't we? Nice. Yeah. Fantastic. You don't mind us filming in when you're doing little bits like no, this? No, of course not. No, I'm not doing anything. Just uh, no problem at all. Excellent. We do a lot of stuff with like people watching anyway. We do a lot of displays with like kids and stuff anyway. And, like, public events. I know a lot of artists prefer to wait until the the picture's done, is that right? Oh, we do, you know what I mean? We, we would much prefer to have this finished before you know, pass this judgment, but you know, we can't. We've got that whole job, you know, so. Yeah. You know, it'll be brilliant once it's, done, once it's finished. It's getting there now, of course, but, you know, until we're happy with it, we're just going to keep soldiering on, you know? So the idea is we're gonna do, you're going to do most of the boards in here. Yeah. Then they get put up on the ceiling, and then you'll be doing little touch-ups and more, more, more little bits. Yeah, that's it. Like, once it's up, we'll get a feel for something like that. Looks and it's going to come together like, and we'll be able to spot which bits we need to like sort of just tweak here and there, you know what I mean? Yeah. You're better off being on the deck really working, so if you're up a height, it's a bit of a nightmare to try and get perfect. Absolutely. Well, thanks for that, guys. No problem. No problem. Um, and again, what I'll do is on the, the description, which you'll find underneath in the comments, um, you will find a link to Dan's 
website or YouTube channel. Yeah, my YouTube channel's on there as well, yeah. yeah. Um, and what kind of things can they see on there, Dan? Um, there's Did not a whole lot on there at the moment. We have a few like promotion videos and we have a few time lapses of us working. I'm hoping later on to do more where we have kind of a sort of an artist's podcast and maybe do some tutorial bits and bobs as well. Fantastic. Right guys, well that's it for now, but make sure you like if you like it and don't forget to subscribe if you're new to this um, and that way you can see the ceiling going up. You let us know whether you would like to see it done, what, what did you call it, like time frame where we put up one, yeah, one board at a time, a time lapse or if you want to wait until it's all done or if we should keep sneaking up here every other day and seeing just how far this artwork's coming out, it's absolutely amazing. Like I say, some of these, the detail in the coral and the fish are absolutely fantastic. And of course, right in the centre, where the sun's going to be coming through the polytunnel, there's going to be some manta rays and big sharks as well. But the artwork is absolutely incredible, guys. So make sure you check out his channel, Illumination Wall Art. You see, I'll put the description, I'll put the link in the description to so make sure you check it out. And don't forget to come back for the next one. See you soon.